Hello, this is Rod Wilgus with good news for this day. This is a time where people are just very worried, anxious, stressing, and they just get these bad things in their minds and they just can't get over them. They, they try to quit thinking about them, but they just can't quite do it. Well, I had something like that happen in my mind. Something that got into my mind at 4.30 yesterday afternoon and I just could not shake it. It was there when I was eating supper. It was there when I went to bed. It was there when I woke up in the middle of the night. It was there when I woke up this morning and it's still, I just can't shake it. And it's Isaiah, it's Psalms 84.11. Psalms 84.11 says, the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord gives grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. It starts off saying the Lord God, and that's speaking that he is the sovereign God. He created everything. There is no life without him. And he tells us then that the Lord gives grace and glory. Grace is giving us what we need, not what we deserved. We didn't earn it. It's completely free. And then he says he gives us glory. Now this is interesting because the word glory means he gives us honor. Can you imagine that? That God Almighty, the creator of the universe, gives honor to us, his children. It goes on to say that the Lord will give grace and glory and no good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. God wants to give us everything that is good. He knows what's good for us when we don't know what's good for us. He wants us to have a better life even than we want to have a better life. He wants to have us have great relationships greater than we can imagine. And it's, But then he says that there's a condition to this. And that condition is that we walk uprightly. We walk uprightly when we surrender to God, when we believe in him, and we trust him so much that when he tells us to do something and we think something would be better, we follow what he does, says and we trust him. So this is what's been going through my mind. And because of that, I have not been having to deal with the worry. Because you can't worry and be focusing on what God is doing for us, what he thinks about us, and how he has promised his provision, and his protection. So my encouragement for you is maybe to read this verse and really become familiar. Read it more than once and realize that no good thing will he withhold from you. Father in heaven, I just pray for everybody that's listening to this. I pray that each of us will grow in our grace and grow in our faith in you. And Lord, that we truly will say, this is a good day. Thanks for listening. See you later.